Now, probably one of your biggest problem when you have a Huawei phone is your native Google services. It's one of the challenges that Huawei users has been facing after the US ban. So we've tried Gbox, we've tried Lighthouse, everything down the line. But uh, Gbox, there's still some flaws to it. But of course, uh, Lighthouse do solve it. But the problem with Lighthouse, you need to change your region, which kind of mess up with your app gallery. On, now on this tutorial, we'll be now in this tutorial we'll be walking you through a solution to your uh, native Google services need on your Huawei devices. So okay, let's go down to business. So we just bought our Huawei P60 Pro. Uh, it's pretty much a brand new device, as I have here here on my. Uh, hands right now so we got it from globe under a g plan so we just got it for eighteen thousand bucks so this is pretty much a very steal that i got from uh, globe so i'll be linking on the description box below how i got it but of course that's not important here uh, what's important is how we're going to install native google services here on our Huawei P60 Pro and other EMUI devices running EMUI 13.1. So as you can see here, it's a Huawei P60 Pro. This is a global device, MNA-LX9, running EMUI 13.1. So as of what I know, this one only works as of the moment for Huawei P60 Pro and Huawei Mate X3. But of course, uh, as future updates rolls on, might be compatible with other Huawei devices. Of course, we want to thank MicroG for developing this one. So let's just simply hit the browser. Let's just go to microg.org, microg.org. Let's proceed. Thanks to MicroG for making this project possible. So when you hit the browser, microg.org, go to this three stripe over here on top, go to downloads. Scroll all the way down. You need to download services framework proxy, download, click download. Then uh, you need to download these two files over here. HW means uh, HW means Huawei download. Okay, and another one here, download. So let's wait for it to finish. So after you download everything, go to the uh, download manager. We, we should install it right now according to the sequence. Go for the GMS first. Install. Hit install. Press done. Next is this one. Micro G Companion, install. Then hit done. Then this one's the last one. Framework, install. And done. So next is to go all the way to settings. Check apps and services. Go to apps. Let's just search for micro G. We're going to allow uh, some uh, important things that you need. So going to micro G services, okay? So hit this gear icon. So we need to turn everything on here. So uh, we need to turn on Google device registration. We need to turn on cloud messaging. We need to turn on Google safety net. So after that, let's go and hit self check. So you need to check everything that's here. So just simply check, allow, check. Uh, if you if this one don't work, uh, press the left side. Okay. So some are uh, resisting due to resolution. So that's not really a problem. La so you need to draw over other apps. Scroll all the way down. Look for micro G services. Just let it uh, draw over other apps and you're done. Okay, so we're ready to add our Google uh, account. So sign in. Okay, just sign in normally. So uh, just agreed. So after adding the account, uh, just go out and uh, look for accounts over here. User and accounts, Google. So we need to add the legacy settings. Okay, you need to allow uh, to find accounts okay just uh, allow it and you're done so after after this one you need to download google services from aurora store then go to auroraoss.com then we'll download aurora store stable 
Then let's go back to our downloads manager. So install Aurora store, open. We need to hit next. Uh, go to session installer, next. Then you should ch change uh, themes the system. You can select color depending on your taste. Then we need to go here to unverified links, add, add market Android and play.google.com. So just check. So after this one, just hit next. Okay. So installer permission, just grant. Allow app install. You also need to grant this one as well. Just allow access. Finish. So next, it depends on you if you want to log in using your Google Anonymous or Anonymous Insecure. So uh, for me personally, I'll choose Anonymous. So, uh, but you have the option to install your Google. So, so you can see Aurora Store is already loaded. So the next step is very important. You need to go down here updates you can see that google play services here this uh, needs updates so you need to force stop this google play store uh, uh update okay uh, so 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 this next step is very important just listen carefully you need to disable this one uh, google play services uh update so that uh, it won't mess up with your uh micro g uh, work around so just need to hold add to blacklist so it will not update on its own so the other ones you can update free no problem okay so next is to install this one web view so you don't need to open it to test so we download our gmail install let's also download our uh, chrome just install Gmail, okay, Let's download our Chrome. Okay, so we can see that we already installed everything here that we want to test. So first, let's just go to YouTube and you'll see that it's already logged in with my Google. Let's try Drive. So, okay, so you can see that it's already logged in. Let's check Chrome. Okay, so we can continue as me. Okay, so uh, there are times that uh, it fails on Gbox, but this one, it's, and this one is just probably like a workaround of the Lighthouse. The only good thing is that you don't need to mess around with your region. So yeah, everything's pretty great here. So then of course, try Gmail, got it. So take note to Gmail. So you'll see everything is already here. So yeah, and you start getting notifications. So uh, Google you can see it's also working seamlessly. So there you go, guys. So we pretty much installed a native Google Play services here on our Huawei device, which is the Huawei P60 Pro uh, running EMUI 13.1. It's also working on Mate X3 as of what I know, but it should roll on to other devices uh, that is running Huawei EMUI 13.1. Now, this is a very easy workaround uh, as compared to you need to change region from the Lighthouse on App Gallery, but this one, you don't need to mess around with your region and it's easy to use. After this one, you can already install your Gbox. It would go hand in hand seamlessly. So I hope you got it working. And if you did, hit the comment section below and I'd love to hear from you. Thanks to Micro G for making or developing this uh, app for us to well have an easier life with and i hope you like it do stay tuned and subscribe to my channel for more tutorials just like this one i'll see you soon and so i'm parasit richmond and you're watching gadget sidekick like and subscribe to my channel don't forget to hit that notification bell for one of my latest uploads click the dito and for one of my popular uploads click here